If you want to know the best sport movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2000s. Listen to your country. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Defense, defense, defense. This is it. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Miracle, 2004. What the hell's wrong with you? Put your gear on. I said put your gear on. Miracle is a 2004 sports film directed by Gavin O'Connor and stars Kurt Russell, Patricia Clarkson, and Noah Emmerich. Led by a legendary performance, this inspiring sports story leaves you in awe. Based on the true story that brought up one of the greatest moments in sports history, we witness how the Cold War was set on ice when the U.S. hockey team's coach Herb Brooks took a bunch of college kids to win against the massive Soviet Union team at the Olympic Games. This is unbelievable. You guys are playing like this is some throwaway game up in Rochester. Who are we playing, Rammer? Sweden. Yeah, you're damn right, Sweden! In the Olympics! Number 9. North Face, 2008. North Face is a 2008 German historical fiction film directed by Philip Stahls and stars Ben O'Furman, Florian Lucas, Joanna Wakalek, and Ulrich Tukur. This tense and gripping spectacle of German filmmaking is based on the true story of a climbing competition revolving around the most dangerous rock in the Alps. When rivals seek glory in a bitter fight to succeed as the better climber, a journey begins that is filled with unpredictable consequences for both parties. Number 8. The Damned United, 2009. He offered us a job, now someone else has offered us a better one. I'm not just anyone, the best team in the country. The Damned United is a 2009 sports drama film directed by Tom Hooper and stars Michael Sheen, Timothy Spall, Cole Meany, and Jim Broadbent. Being one of the most memorable sports and football movies ever made, The Damned United tells the confrontational yet humorous story of Brian Clough's doomed 44-day tenure as the manager of an English football team. The best he can do is leave the field with glory and leave behind a successful legacy that many will remember. To do that, he has 44 days. We can build them up, make them our own, like we did with Hartlepool, like we did with Derby. And then what? Bottle again as soon as it comes to the big time. That's always been the trouble with you, Pete. No ambition. That's the trouble with you, Brian. Too much ambition. Number 7. Fearless, 2006. <laughs> Fearless is a 2006 Chinese Hong Kong martial arts film directed by Ronnie Yu and stars Jet Li. Brilliantly choreographed, this movie will make you grind your teeth with its thoughtfully filmed action. Set in a sword fight tournament in 1910 China, Fearless explores the obsession of a troubled man revolving his life around martial arts sword fights. Ironically, protagonist Hyo will soon find out that obsession can be a greater enemy than a sword's edge. Come on. Number 6. The Blind Side, 2009. You stopped it. This team is your family, Michael. You have to protect them from those guys, okay? The Blind Side is a 2009 biographical sports drama film written and directed by John Lee Hancock and stars Sandra Bullock, Quentin Aaron, Tim McGraw, Jay Head, and Lily Collins. The movie is based on the true story of Leigh Ann Toey and Sean Toey, who take in a homeless teenage African-American, Michael Ower. They provide him with a loving home he never experienced before, and when he expresses an interest in football, she goes all out to help him. Are you going to protect the family, Michael? Yes, ma'am. Good boy. Then go have some fun. Mm -hmm. 
yelling at him doesn't work, Bert. Doesn't trust men. Number five. Remember the Titans, 2000. I didn't ask to be assigned to your staff, so I guess we're both in a situation we don't want to be in. But I can guarantee you this, Coach. I come to win. Remember the Titans is a 2000 biographical sports film directed by Boaz Yakin and stars Denzel Washington, Will Patton, Donald Faison, and Nicole Ari Parker. This inspirational sports biopic is a smartly written social commentary with well-crafted epic storytelling. Rolling up events that took place in 1971, we witness how black students are introduced into a white school, now being confronted with prejudice and trying to prove themselves and their capabilities as a football team. It's a truly beautiful story of friendship and acceptance. Water is for cowards. Water makes you weak. Water is for washing blood off that uniform, and you don't get no blood on my uniform. Boy, you must be outside your mind. Number four. The World's Fastest Indian, 2005. Why don't you uh, chumps uh, put your money where your mouth is? Then? You're on. Yo, coo. The World's Fastest Indian is a 2005 New Zealand biographical sports drama film directed by Roger Donaldson and stars Anthony Hopkins, Diane Ladd, and Jessica Coffiel. Defined by an incredible performance by Anthony Hopkins, this fast-paced true story explores a man never giving up his one big dream of doing something meaningful. In an engaging, comedic race, Burt Monroe seeks the thrill of driving the one and only motorcycle really, really fast. Where this takes him and what dangers speed can cause is about to be explored. Number three, The Wrestler, 2008. You know, if you live hard, and you play hard, and you burn the candle at both ends, you pay the price for it. The Wrestler is a 2008 sports drama film directed by Darren Aronofsky and stars Mickey Rourke, Marissa Tomei, and Evan Rachel Wood. With a performance that made actor Mickey Rourke a legend, The Wrestler follows Randy, the Ram, Robinson, once a big shot in the wrestling world, he now struggles to pay the bills. The most undesirable part for him is that he is stuck in a meaningless life. But when a tragic incident hits him, he must question what a meaningful life even means. He's finished. He's a loser. He's all through. But you know what? The only ones who are going to tell me when I'm through doing my thing is you people here. Number two. Cinderella Man, 2005. <laughs> Cinderella Man is a 2005 biographical sports drama film directed by Ron Howard and stars Russell Crowe, Renee Zellweger, and Paul Giamatti. This true story of an athlete on his way to achieving his greatest success yet showcases the many odds and challenges of his life that stood against him. This journey of loss, injury, downfalls, but also rising, will not only give you goosebumps, but literally have you on the edge of your seat while you are witnessing one man break his limits. Bang! Unbelievable. <laughs> pop, pop, slide, slide and slip and you were like a cat. I did that on a hash. Imagine what I would have done to him if I had a couple of steaks. Jimmy, that was one hell of a goodbye. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. We are all preparing. Right. But when I think we're ready, I have the bus driver put on a song. Something I've chosen, one we all know. And we listen to the words together. Even in our darkest hour, we must always remember you never despair. You held a live bird in your hands. Not too hard to hurt it. Just firm enough to stop it from flying away. Starting today, you will play like winners, act like winners, and most importantly, you will be winners. If you listen and learn, you will win basketball games. And gentlemen, winning in here is the key to winning out there. Number one, Million Dollar Baby, 2004. This bag? Yes, that bag, that's my bag. And if you're hitting it, people will think I'm training you. Is that such a bad thing, boss? Million Dollar Baby is a 2004 sports drama film 
directed by Clint Eastwood, and stars him, Hilary Swan, and Morgan Freeman in leading roles. Frankie Dunn is a veteran boxing coach who has dedicated his life to the ring and but has little to demonstrate. The movie shows how his past mistakes haunt him and his quest for atonement by helping an underdog amateur boxer achieve her dream of becoming a professional. Can I give you some advice? I'd appreciate that. You're going to find a trainer either in this gym or somewhere else that's going to want to train a girl. It's the latest freak show out there. But the only trouble is they're going to be wasting your time because you're too old. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.